This is question number 69 from book number one based on the 2020 NEC. And this is electricaltime.com. What is the max distance that a GFCI protected receptacle can be from the outside edge of each basin, you know, which we call a sink. All right. So when you see that word basin, you know, it's going to be a sink. And this is going to be in a dwelling um, unit bathroom. All right, so the first answer that we have here is A for two feet, B, three feet, C, four feet, and D, five feet. Just want to take 30 seconds to let you know what we do here at electricaltime.com. We do online electrical classes from the comfort of your home. And then we also have this free service. So if you click on the subscribe for free and you see questions monday through friday you'll get an nec code question and an answer sent to your email all right so back to our video so the answer is going to be b and that's going to be for three feet all right so the first thing we're going to do is ask ourselves what article are they talking about here and this is going to be for article 210 and that is going to be for branch circuits and that's within chapter two wiring and protection and then we look at the parts and we're looking at the part that's going to tell us what that maximum distance is you know for that gfci protected receptacle now i know we're talking about two different sections in the code book all right let's go back to the question so one of the sections that we are talking about is going to be GFCI protection. And we know by heart that this is going to be 210.8. But in another part of the question here, we're talking about that max distance, which is covered under a different section under article 210 for branch circuits so we really have two different sections here in this question but in the question here i'm asking you you know what is the max distance and that max distance is going to be found in part three and it's going to be called required outlets and then we're going to look at 210.52 for dwelling unit receptacle outlets then we're going to find 210.52d for bathrooms so let's take a look at 210.52d together in our code book and let's see what it has to say so it says at least one receptacle outlet and i'm going to stop there for a second and i'm going to repeat that it says at least one receptacle outlet and what is a receptacle outlet that's the box okay so a lot of times a lot of electricians that I know get confused between, you know, a receptacle and a receptacle outlet. I used to get confused all the time, you know, when I was learning the code. I really didn't know the difference. If somebody told me a receptacle, you know, I would think, okay, I'm going to put the receptacle over here. But I'm really talking about the receptacle outlet. All right. Slight difference, but important difference. Okay. So at least one receptacle outlet shall be installed in bathrooms within three feet of the outside edge of each basin and again basin is a sink all right when i first read this i'm asking myself what's a basin you know i had to go and in, into the dictionary and find out oh they're talking about a sink all right so and then it goes on to say the receptacle outlet shall be located on a wall or partition that is adjacent to the basin or basin countertop all right so again you're in the bathroom and you're, and you're looking at looking down at the sink and let's say there's a vanity there with a little countertop so basically you know you're probably going to put that receptacle outlet you know you know in the wall and it's probably going to be on the left or the right side you know of the sink and let's say that bathroom sink vanity is in the corner so you might even put this on the wall, you know, on the side, you know, of where you have that, that bathroom, um, you know, sink vanity. All right. And that's all that is saying there. And it says, or it can be installed on the face of the basin cabinet. So what does that mean? 
you know, I've seen where people have put receptacle outlets on the side of that bathroom vanity unit. I think it's stupid, but what do I know about it? You know, I think that that receptacle outlet should be right there where you can see it. I don't think it should be on the side of that bathroom vanity cabinet. And again, it says on the side or face of the basin cabinet. So that what they're telling you here, it's okay to put that receptacle outlet, you know, on the face. So when you're looking at the bathroom sink vanity, you know, you have to look at the cabinet down there and then you'll see the receptacle outlet. And again, I think that's stupid to do that. I think you should put that on the wall where it's nice and easy to look at. And, you know, if somebody's going to plug something in, you know, like their, their hair dryer, or well, let's say they have an electronic toothbrush that they could put it there and plug it in nice and easy. All right. But again, maybe the customer wants it someplace else. And that's when you go to 210.52D. And then you see where else can I put this receptacle outlet? And then it goes on to say, in no case shall the receptacle be located more than 12 inches below the top of the basin or basin countertop. And let's read that again real carefully. And it says here, in no case shall the receptacle. It does not say, in no case shall the receptacle outlet. It says, in no case shall the receptacle. So we're talking about that receptacle. Now we're not talking about that outlet right now. So I know it gets really confusing after a little bit, but that's what's in the code book. And again, it says, in no case shall the receptacle be located more than 12 inches below the top of the basin or basin countertop. All right. So again, you know, you can only get that receptacle, you know, to be no more than 12 inches below the top of that countertop. And if you got a duplex receptacle, that means you got two receptacles. So in my interpretation, I'm going to say that none of the receptacles in that duplex receptacle can be more than 12 inches below the top of the basin or basin countertop. So be careful with that. It also goes on to say that receptacle outlet assemblies listed for use in countertops shall be permitted to be installed in the countertop. So let's say that there's no place to put your receptacle outlet on the wall or you can't put it on the side or the face of the basin cabinet so then what happens is you tell the homeowner listen uh, we're going to put one of these listed assembly devices i'm going to put that in the countertop and i suggest that you have the countertop people make the hole there for you you know don't take out your old busted uh, hole saw that you're using to make holes you know in the studs you know to to run you know, all kinds of uh, different conduit because you're probably going to end up ruining that countertop. Let the homeowner have that hole made for you. So all you have to do as the electrician, get that listed assembly, pop it in. Also make sure that there's no drawer that's going to be in the way of that. So a drawer might have to be modified so that when that listed assembly is uh, placed into the countertop that when you push that down it's not going to go and hit a drawer all right so make sure you you check that out all right so let's go take a look in our textbook and see what we have to say about all of this so 210.52d bathrooms requires that the receptacle outlet for the dwelling unit bathroom be located no further than three feet from the outside edge of the bathroom sink can you install a receptacle outlet that is five feet from the outside edge of the dwelling unit bathroom sink? And the answer is yes, but it will not count as the required receptacle outlet per 210.52D, and at least one receptacle outlet will still have to be installed no further than three feet from the outside edge of the bathroom sink. And the the answer to this question is going to be B, and that's going to be three feet, and that is code article 210.52D. But wait, we're not finished yet. Remember in the question, we're talking about, you know, this GFCI protected receptacle, and that comes from section 210.8, and that's called ground fault circuit interrupter protection for personnel. And if you don't know 210.8, 
I suggest that you study it very well because I can pretty much guarantee you it's going to be on every electrical exam you'll ever take. All right, so 210.8 has an A, and A talks about dwelling units. And then it has a number one, and it says bathrooms. All right, so in the bathroom of a dwelling unit, it says that all 125 volt through 250 volt receptacles installed in the locations specified in 210.8A1 through A11 and supplied by single phase branch circuits rated 150 volts or less to ground shall have ground fault circuit interrupter protection for personnel and number one there is going to be bathrooms and that's why i combined those two sections in this question because they are related to each other all right hope you enjoyed this long video and uh, we'll see you on the next one